What's up everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use FL Studio. <clears throat> so, let me just close up this stuff. So I think the first thing I'll go over is what all of these buttons do. So this is, so you, this is what FL Studio looks like when you open it. And this is where you'll layer out all your different patterns to make the song. This is the piano roll that you'll use to make piano. So like, just play the pattern like that and you'll make piano this is what you'll use to make like drums and stuff even though not that many people use it make like this and you can make a beat like that the next thing is the mixer channel in the mixer channel you can map stuff to different mixer channels and change the volume of them add effects to them like any of these effects you can download plugins to add and just map everything in different mixer channels Next is this. This button will just take out all of the sounds and instruments that you have right here. And then after that is this, which is just like patterns and sounds that you have. All patterns, channels, sounds, just like all that stuff. After that, we have the plugins. And if you press on this button, I'm pretty sure it's also F8. If you press F8, it opens up all the plugins. So. All the ones that looks like it doesn't have like pictures, that's because I've downloaded them like Isotope Vinyl, Download Sausage Fan, or Download Endless. But these are all downloaded ones. But a lot of them come with FL Studio. The $200 version has a lot of them. But the $200 version, which I have, if you get it, there's some of them that are trial. And in the trial version, if you leave it, it'll delete it. So, yeah. This is to like change the tempo. It's called the tempo tapper. So you'll you'll pick oh, it's not appearing. But basically you pick it up and when you use it, you tap it. You tap it to like say 130 BPM, which is good. Now you can't see it, but it's just like a button that you press cuz I'm using two monitors. That's the tempo tapper. And then next is this, which is called touch pads. And I actually can't open that right now. But basically what it is is a bunch of touch pads that look like, if you know what a launch pad is, that's what they look like. And they have a bunch of different sounds. You can map up to them and play by touching them. So those are all the basic stuff. <clears throat> These ones are for when you're playing the song and recording. This one is to switch between patterns and this is if you want to record stuff in, like if you right click it, automation, notes, all this other crap. You can't really see it. It's not it's not gonna come up. <clears throat> but yeah. Then what they have is BPM, the change of BPM, song slider, and all the in. The tools that you can use when you're making music so first what i always start it start with is the channel rack so there's it comes with four basic instruments that you can change out and what i would do is first i'll make a beat so let's just make a super basic beat yeah i'll just make a super basic beat right now i think it's like that small when you first get it so yeah You might have to change a few things, but just put that 24. That's good. So then we'll just, this is a basic drum beat. Really easy to make. I'll just lower that a little bit, probably like there. And then that's a basic drum beat. And then what we can do once, whoa, I'm glitching up bad. But that is a basic drum beat. And then what you can do if you don't like these, you can go into here and how you how I would get here is you look through all them, you go to packs, drums, drums, more audio, flex, there's all this stuff, but I wanna change the drums. So I'll get some drums. Um, first I'll change the kick, you look for a kick. This is a nice chunky kick, chunky kick. 
look for like um, a hi hat. <laughs> I'm just going to keep the hi-hat because it's kind of hard to find the hi-hats. I don't want to do that for that long. Then you can find snares. Well, I'll just keep the 808 snares. what I have now. It's kind of like, it sounds like it has some sausage banner on it. And I have been having this weird spike in there. Don't worry about that. But then what you do is once you're done with that you'll see you'll have pattern one appear up here so what you're gonna do with that is you click on the pencil tool and you will hit somewhere and you can drag it up to bars it should have like snapping on i have snapping on to like one half bars but obs isn't recording myself so this is what we have so far you click song and you press play Perfect five bars <clears throat> loops really well. And then you can create another pattern by pressing this, and you'll name the pattern. I'll, it's not going to come up, but I'll name it like uh, Melody. The Melody came up right here. And then once you press this button again to bring back up the channel rack, you have your Melody, what I call Melody. And then what you can do is you can choose. You can, the next part, I'll show you. So I have this dynamic, let me just delete dynamic guitars. So I have the drums, right? And that's what I used to make this pattern one drum beat. But say <clears throat> I want to make a melody. Well, first of all, you can you, you can go into here and instead of pressing on drums, you press instruments. There's bass, guitar, keyboard. So you want to make like a grand piano, Rhodes, any of this stuff, you can use that. So look, I'll just do grand piano. And actually, I have my piano, <clears throat> MIDI piano plugged in. So I'll just show you guys how that sounds. But yeah, that is how you can do piano. But if you want to do like another thing, you can press on this plus. A bunch of plugins will come up and you can choose one. I just choose this. But I don't actually want that. So right now, I'll just try and come up with some kind of the grand piano beat. Um, beat. So what if you're working with like you can do it with drums, hi hats too. You will write. You can either to get into piano roll, which is what you use to like make the beats to like design the piano and stuff. You can either right click on grand piano and a piano roll thing will come up. But since that's not coming up. You can click this button right here, and you can open up Grand Piano. Perfect. And now, with this, you have an entire piano set up right here. And the main one is like C5. Or, I have my keyboard right here. But yeah, that's my keyboard. I'm not going to be like rolling around, so we can make a beat like this. So what I'll do is I'll drag in a C maybe. Oops. Never mind. Um, I'll make a chord. So let's just do like, and I'll just do like chords. So right now, all right, I didn't find it. And I would delete this length thing. It's not working out. So. Say so you're going to make a chord. Let's just do like a basic, basic chord. Let's do like a C. Let me see this. I can't. Okay. So choose file mode. And this is, if you press play, you can make it longer. I'll make it long like this. And then what I like to do when I'm making them is I'll drag this in. And then this tool, I'll explain to you all the tools. This is if you want to like layer it out a bunch of times, you can do that. But that's just to layer it out. This actually, that's to like delete stuff. 
pretty sure. And then this is to mute stuff, make stuff longer, cut stuff in half. This one is what we're going to be using right now. It's to select stuff. So you can like select a bunch of beats like that if you want to drag multiple in one thing. Or what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select some bars. And then it'll if you see how in the play bar it highlighted it red, well then if you press play, it'll only play that part and it'll just loop that part. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. Oops. Now let's get back into piano roll. Press the wrong button. All right, here we go. So now I don't make a lot of like just beats like this. I usually sample stuff, which I'm not gonna, do, which I'm not doing right now. Let me see the G chord. Let's go. And this is just basic music theory. I'm just gonna combine a bunch of different chords to make a song for you guys real quick. So here we go. Let's do like an E chord. Let me just check out an E. Alright, this isn't looping, right? So I just changed it to pattern to see when it would loop. I'm just gonna find, yeah, G, that would work. Let's just check out a simple. What I'm gonna do is I'm looking for an A chord. I don't have any A chords on here. Dang it. Alright, let me just pull up. A G chord, yeah. GBD. And it looks like I have that except for one. Okay, here we go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm just gonna drag this because it's a G chord. Nice and easy. And then you'll do a control C and I'll do control V. So this is the second one highlighted for me. So right now I'll just make, yeah, like a, like this. Okay, so I just did this. All right, so this is what you have now. Let me just delete that, double click it to delete, and then boom, we put the two melodies together. Simple melody. And 
and it loops perfectly and then what you can do is just click on pattern one and like paste in like a bunch but i don't want to do that right now that was so melly and then what i'll go over next is effects so i'll use a simple effect let's just eq it so let me just exit all right let's see go to i'll go to master and if you click on here i'll find free, free eq I think that's EQ. That's not EQ, dude. Let me just delete this real quick. Yeah, so let me just find Fruity EQ. It's You can't see what I'm doing right now because it's not on the thing. It doesn't, OBS doesn't pick up this stuff. But here we go. No, what is this crap? <laughs> Not destructor. I'm gonna cut this crap out. This part is getting annoying. Okay, so I settled on just using a simple reverb. This is Fruity Reverb 2. So if I hit play. Change the reverb. Make it really weird. Make it sound like more wet. And then, let me just quickly see if I can find it. It's envelope controller, isn't it? There it is. Pretty sure this is EQ, but look. look. So, with the envelope controller, you can change stuff like that. Probably sounds like I didn't change anything. Oh, here we go. Finally, I found it. This is the Fruity Paramedic EQ. Take out some sounds. Make it sound super vinyl, old. You can have some EQ on it, make this sound completely different from the beat. And there we go, that's what we have made. So, thanks for watching my tutorial, guys. Leave a like and subscribe if you liked it. Thanks for watching, and see ya.